Okay, let's, let's take a second here to talk about overbought and oversold and what that means in um, oscillators in the Forex market. So now the indicator you're looking down at at the bottom here is the RSI or the Relative Strength Index. Now the Relative Strength Index is called a banded indicator, meaning it has got a top line and a bottom line that the oscillator oscillates in between. And so you get to banded indicators, uh, there's a whole bunch of them out there, MT4's got a lot of banded indicators and all of them have overbought and oversold levels. Now on the RSI you can see here that the oversold, uh, the overbought level sorry, is 70 and the oversold level is 30. So what they're saying, the premise of that is that if the blue line or the price action gets below the oversold area it's a good time to buy. If it gets above the overbought area it's a good time to sell. Now this is all good in theory um, you know, you can see an example here of how it worked. Uh, as you can see there, it got below in this area here, which is pretty much up at the top down here. And so if you were buying in that area, you would have lost your pants, to be honest, because as you can see, the currency moved down quite a bit. Yes, it did come up out and it turned into a buy a little bit later. The problem with banded oscillators and with, um, you know, overbought and oversold is that it's a, it's a concept that not everybody respects and the currency price itself doesn't have to respect so it can go into the oversold area and stay there for a long time and it can go very deep into oversold it can do the same with overbought it can go into overbought and stay there for long and so on so most people would say all right this is how you trade it if it goes into oversold like you see here you wait for it to break back up into the normal territory from the oversold position into the normal trading range the normal trading range is between the 30 and the 70 so when you see it break back up there then you would buy over here. And so they would say that's how you use the banded oscillator in overbought and oversold levels. Not when it goes in, but when it comes out. So if it was in overbought territory, when it came back into the trading range below 70, that is the candle that you would, you would sell off. So you buy when it comes out of the oversold area at the bottom, and you sell when it comes out of the overbought area at the top. Um, I don't use it in my trading very often. I find it's not very reliable and you know it's just not something that I would employ because I like to use price action as I feel that price is the only true representation of what is really happening in the market.